Let's review one of Professor McGonagall's The Headless Hunt deck options, specifically designed for solo gameplay. This deck became really popular because of its awesome mobility, great sustainability, and powerful damage dealing abilities. Alright, let's move on to analyzing the matches and witness firsthand how the deck performs. Before we kick off the action, let me present the combos we'll be relying on in this deck. The first combo we'll discuss is a pairing of the Inflatus and Incendio Charms. The second combo will involve the use of two Headless Hunt Charms. If for some reason you cannot use the Incendio Charm, the Inflatus' and Headless Hunt combo is a suitable alternative. Let's get back to our match. If we examine our cards, we'll notice that Inflatus' is an upcoming card. To bring it into our hand, it's best to play some summon cards. I'll take it from here. A classic opener for this deck involves summoning a pawn and using the Abigail companion card. Stand back! Augmente. While the opponent is preoccupied with summons, it's the right time for us to create the Inflatus and Incendio combo. Inflatus! Leave it to Incendio! We should bring in some additional summons to strengthen our Headless Hunt card. Our opponent showed great agility and dodged our Inflatus and Incendio combo. If you find yourself pinned down, don't hesitate to move around. Later on, you can recover your lost movement points with the Golden Snitch card. Be sure not to forget about the Phoenix card, as it allows you to heal yourself during battles. Wizard chest. While the pawn engages the opponent, we should utilize the Daniel Companion to heal ourselves. Our first Headless Hunt's charm is now ready to be deployed. Now, it's time to enhance the second Headless Hunt charm for our next move. Golden Keep going. You've got this. Manticore move. Ensure to use the Baby Manticore's card to save your movement points, and it will also help in catching the elusive Golden Snitch. With the assistance of the prior Incantato charm, we've successfully charged the first Headless Hunt card and half of the second one. Headless Hunt. Hey, yeah. oh. Having successfully created the double Headless Hunt combo, we shall now create a Inflatuses and Incendio combo. Incendio. The Hagrid Companion is also a nice addition to our deck, offering advantages in both mobility and health conservation. Here's the moment we unleashed our Headless Hunt combo, effectively turning the tides in our favor. The opponent has used the Orb of Water and Aguamenti combo against us. To cancel the Aguamenti spell, let's utilize our Inflatus and Incendio combo. Wizard chest pieces. All now, right, everyone. we should We're create the Headless there. Hunt combo again to gain an upper hand in the match. We need to time the launch of the Headless Hunt charm perfectly, so that it hits both Ron and the opponent simultaneously. As you can observe, we are consistently repeating the same process of launching our combo patterns, without any delays or disruptions. Headless Hunt. And we're done. No one likes Death Eaters paratroopers, unless they are players who use that playing style. Our challenge now is to see how successfully we can maintain our combo pattern 
while facing a player who uses Bellatrix. We unleashed the Inflatus and Incendio combo without a hitch, but the Headless Hunt card is still not appearing, causing us to lose our advantage. In this situation, it's important to remain calm and maintain focus. Panic won't help our chances. I want to reiterate that it's crucial to move around and keep your health intact. This deck is specifically designed for that purpose. We must not allow the opponent's pressure to force us to change our combo strategy. We need to execute our fully charged Headless Hunt charm for the optimal outcome. Since the first Death Eater has made its appearance, we should launch our Headless Hunt charm to overlap with as many of the opponent's summons as possible. Let's use the Daniel Companion to replenish our health, while the Pawn acts as our defender. I chose to use Inflatuses to extend the Pawn's life and allow the Daniel to heal me more, which means our combo has now become Headless Hunt and Inflatus. If the combo's first charm is Headless Hunt, and we complete the combo, the prior Incantato charm present in our hand transforms into a Headless Hunt. Headless Hunt. Let's charge our two Headless Hunt cards. Since our deck is blocked with spell cards, we cannot charge both Headless Hunt cards. Let's create an Inflatuses and Incendio combo instead. The Cassandra Companion can hinder our summons, but we must focus and not be sidetracked by her presence. Stack of Monster Book of Golden Snake. With our ability to move around due to having enough movement points, it's crucial to focus our combo on the opponent and ignore their summons. Now, use the Hagrid's Bite card to trample the books. Now that the Death Eaters have appeared, Let's defeat them all, along with Cassandra, in one go. Due to the situation not going as planned, the use of Inflatuses was necessary, which led to the creation of the Headless Hunt and Inflatuses combo. Headless Hunt. Unfortunately, I made a few mistakes, including misapplying the combo and using Incendio before having Inflatuses in my hand. Leave it to me. Stack of monster monster monster. Monster. Wizard. Though using Inflatuses would enable us to correct our combo pattern, we urgently need two fully charged Headless Hunts' cards to effectively address this situation. Before employing Headless Hunts, let's stack together as many summons as possible and target the opponent with the projectile. Headless hunt. Let's remain vigilant and identify the locations of all Death Eaters. Once we have, we can launch the second Headless Hunts with precision. Headless hunt. Despite the opponent dodging the third Headless Hunts' attack, we managed to eliminate the second Death Eater. Inflatus. Thanks to Inflatus, we took out the third Death Eater, leaving just one more to go. Since the opponent has no movement points left, it's time to finish her off. To conclude, you can effectively win using this deck through a range of strategies that include outmoving, out healing, and launching potent attacks to handle large groups of enemy summons. If you relish slowly wearing down your opponents and playing mind games, this deck is a great fit for you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next episode. Cassandra, would you like to come with us to Three Broomsticks? Must we really consume that questionable butter beer? No, Cassandra. I will bring some of those delicious cookies from the anniversary party along with me. Oh, mine. Those cookies again. <laughs>